project of the day is a UPS unit that I'm going to convert over to lithium ion okay these are pretty nice uh, batteries here 20 um, six seven hundreds okay that's the dimensions of them they're sixty eight hundred milliamp hours and these are sixty eight hundred milliamp hours I've tested them so I'm going to be putting those in to where the cavity is for the 24 volt battery set that was here but this little knockout or bump out uh, I'm gonna have to hammer down so I can just fit these batteries in perfectly um, so yeah I have to tear it completely apart just to get in there and fix it up for these batteries that's my job for today okay I got my railroad rail anvil ready to go and now it's just a matter of hammering away and this is going to be a little noisy gotta do is keep doing that back and forth until it's flat that's it well there's my part doesn't have to be perfect I just need it to be flat there where the bump was you can still see the marks where it was but it's pretty darn flat now that'll do see now I'll be able to put these six across all the way up because I don't have that bump there now it was sticking in and these were a tight fit to begin with just barely enough room to get them in so that's the way it goes I got to stack this whole thing filled with these I should get some nice power out of them well, here's the battery pack put together ah, heavy now I just need wired together, but it's, uh, it's a nice battery, <laughs> it's one nice battery, but it'll just fit in that cavity there, so that's what we're going for, wiring time, I put some one inch thick plastic on the bottom of that where my batteries will be setting and then on the sides I'm going to go ahead and put some real thick duct tape and just make sure that nothing can ever rub and short out if I can get it in there go all right and just tape it onto the sides here so that the batteries can't rub even though there won't be any real movement so this is pretty tight fit I'm still making sure that it's triple insulated I'm gonna put one across the back in there and I already have one on this side so we should be super insulated so that the batteries can't short out. Well, just putting in my copper connectors. I'm going to have seven rows of six batteries. So I'm going to have a seven cell battery <coughs> because these will be acting as one 
battery two three four five six seven so that's the way they're gonna go and I'll have a 27 28 volt capacity battery this is a 24 volt power inverter it had 24 two 12 volt batteries in there so yeah they were 7 amp hour batteries and these are just about 7 amp hours by themselves each one so yeah uh, that's a significant upgrade so this ought to run all day really if I'm running a television modem you know telephone something like that it'll run all day long all right I'm gonna keep after it all I'm doing is stripping back regular wire and then I flattened it out a little bit just for convenience and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep on doing these okay I got the battery in everything's working let's see Um, I put a voltmeter on there so that I could watch the status of the battery. I have a plug over here for 12 volts. Um, that way I could charge the battery. This goes directly uh, to the battery bank. And that way I can access it to draw power or solar charge it if I want to. I put a uh, handle on the top so that I could carry it and the whole thing weighs 55 pounds now kinda heavy but also pretty pretty compact for all it has in there there's uh, over a thousand and fifty watt hours of power there so this is a 1000 VA um, UPS for computer systems and that comes out to uh, what about 750 I think or thereabouts um, watts that I can pull off of this thing uh, I don't like the amp you know the VA the, the volt amps that's just another way to cheat people I think <laughs> um, anyway so by by labeling it that way because now it sounds like you got more than you do you know it really it, it's only about seven I think it's 750 or thereabouts uh, actual watts that I can pull on this thing at one time so anyway it's all done and it all works good uh, you see I got a, a full charge on it uh, don't have any uh, load really for this thing and I have a, a 50 inch television and a, a laptop speakers powered um, Got the modem, uh, cell f or uh, house phone on there, so yeah, it's all going through this, and it it doesn't even bother it. I ran it for uh, about six hours, and didn't even take the voltage down about halfway. So um, I should uh, have plenty of hours on this thing to uh, run it when the power goes out. But the power's gone out a couple times already for a few hours, and it it hardly budges the voltage. But it is nice to have that meter on the front so that I can watch what I have. That's it. All done. Works good.